Hello and welcome to a brand new Godot tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to make a enemy in top down player movement or basically this type of game where you can move up, down, right, left. So basically, I just set up a tiny basic controller or a basic player controller so we can just get the player started and so the player if you walk into or the enemy if you walk into its area it will chase you it will start chasing you as soon as you exit its area it will stop chasing you so this was actually asked for by by panther D I V L J I, and i greatly appreciate it and yes so it is a pretty simple concept all you got to do is walk if, if your uh player here walks into the uh zone of the enemy then it will start chasing it so if it walks into the area 2d that's what we'll use today is an area 2d and hopefully this all goes as planned as i don't know if i've said this before but i've never done a top down game before but it should not be too different than a platformer so i mean i got this player or i got this movement set up and I will upload a, this movement video tomorrow. So if, if you do want to not do this, it's right here. I'll let you have the code right here. So that's the first 20 lines and the rest. I'll uh, be uploading a video on basically explaining this and doing it tomorrow. So if you do want to see that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, drop a like. But the enemy movement. So we'll just make an enemy. Which, and by the way, this is the only thing I have in the entire world. And I have this ground, which is just a sprite or which is just a sprite which is just this so it's i have nothing in this world like yeah i have nothing so except the player so in two days or if you just copy that down right now you can you know be able to make this okay so first we're just gonna start off with a kinematic body for our enemy enemy by the way i've never made this before but hopefully we can get it first try um we're gonna want a collision shape we are going to want a sprite we are also going to want a area we'll do an area 2d because that's important and in the area 2d we are going to want a collision shape as well so we'll just set up our enemy real fast We'll just make him red. That looks cool. Collision shape. We'll set up his collision shape, which is going to be a rectangle. And that looks fine for now. Area 2D. Here's the thing with the area 2D. You want to click on the collision shape below it, and you're going to want to make it a shape. Normally, I make it a circle and extend it bow like pretty far out like i'm just gonna do that for now but you extend it however you want it however it fits your game the best i'm just doing this for demonstration so you can basically see how the play is going to go in and out of the area and work we're just going to make a script which is going to extend the enemy the kinematic body and some basic variables which is just going to be like the speed because we need a speed and motion which is just going to be a vector 2 so vector 2.0 because we want it to be equal to 0 and then player which right now we can equal it to nothing so we'll equal it to nothing for now so basically if player is going to equal body so if the body's inside of the area 2d then the player or the enemy will chase the player or follow the player if that makes sense first we're gonna want to make a functions physics body or process delta and then motion is gonna equal to vector 2 which technically we already set up there but we'll do it like this uh, if player which is right here so if it equals something if it equals anything but null then it will go into this function. So if it equals anything but null, then it will equal motion. And our motion will equal, we want it to equal the position of the player. Go towards the position. So we'll get the position dot direction to 
player, which right now is null, but eventually that will be the body. So the closest body, which the only body in our game right now is the uh, player technically. But the player here, what you also can do is you can basically just go and like say, get parent and like actually just straight up call call out the uh, call out the uh, the sprite or the collision shape or whatever you want it to follow so you can do that that's also a good way to do it and we need to move inside because uh, our enemy won't be able to move if we don't have the move inside and we'll put motion inside so that should be everything for a physics process. Now if we were to play, I don't think anything will happen. Hold up, let's actually just attach this. Nothing should happen, I don't think. Whoa. What happened? Okay. Whoa. Hold up. Let's take that away. There we go, there we go. Okay, so if we were to play right now, nothing would happen. Let's actually turn our collision shapes on. Debug, collision shapes, there we go. So now if we were to play, we can actually see a collision shapes. Nothing happens yet. But movement is set up, should be set up. So if we were to set this to body right now, Maybe not. Okay, okay, hold up. Let's just. Okay, I know why. Because in whenever we emit the signal from our area 2D, right here, which let's go emit these signals real fast. Body entered that, and then body exited. Body exited. There we go. So just connect these two signals. Uh, right now. The reason why that was not working was because this is the variable that we need right here. So it's not going to be able to equal body unless it's inside of here. And then it's going to go straight to this. But right now we can print. Uh, we can print entered. Just so we know whenever it was entered. And then we can play make player equal body. So if area 2D is entered, then player is going to equal body. Which then is going to let it... Uh, follow the player and then we can print exit so it exit so it exit the uh, area and then we can make player equal to null which means nothing and let me just clean this up real fast hopefully this works I've actually never done anything like this before in Godot let's see I us try and check make sure everything's good uh, also in my output I did have a lot of junk popping up which is from right here so let me just tag that out that's from my player so you don't gotta worry about that and we can hopefully this works if this does not work I'm gonna look so bad well that's not good that is not good at all okay so it is saying that we whoops Okay, look, so down there it is saying we entered and we exit. Which that's good. Uh, that is 110% good. Uh, motion equals vector 2, yes. Uh, motion equals position dot direction to player dot position. And I am not very smart. Okay, that should fix. Maybe not. Maybe it will not fix it. what because maybe if this works and it does and it works okay so look if we enter the enemy is going to follow us as long as it possibly can until we exit as soon as we exit Enemy don't follow no more. We enter, enemy follows. 
if I can actually exit, maybe, maybe we'll just go this way. We do have a hundred more speed, so we should, so. Yeah, okay. I can't believe I messed that up. Okay, but that works. That works. Top down is actually kind of cool. Never done top down and go down before. So, if I make some weird mistakes, and that was not even a top down mistake, though. That was just a, I'm not very smart mistake. But yeah, okay, so that should work. There you go. Yep. And you can escape. Boom. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Like, for example, if you go in and the the square collision box there hits you, then you can take damage and stuff like that. Or even if you're in here and it's a range attack, it will attack you. You can make that uh, like that too. But, so it's actually like 19 lines of code. That's kind of... I'm not even going to lie, I thought this was going to take more. Because, like, in Unity and stuff, this takes a lot more than 13 lines of code. Or 19 lines of code. And we have a ton of junk code, like the print. That's all junk code. We don't need that. But, yeah, that's actually extremely cool. So, hopefully that did help you out. And I really do thank you so, so, so much for watching Panther. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure you guys do let me know what type of tutorials to make in the comments down below. This is actually kind of fun to make, though. Not even going to lie. Also, I do have the player. I have this coming out tomorrow. So if you're, you're probably watching this on, on, a, on Friday, which is going to be later today. Or I'm uploading this on Friday, so I'm going to upload this video on saturday okay so hopefully that did help you out but so but yeah that's like that's one of the only things i do have in this world just so you know so i have the icon which comes i have the enemy which we just made the enemy.gd which we just made the player scene and the player.gd which and that's it and the world scene which is what's everything's in and the ground which is nothing like i could delete that real fast everything would work the exact same but that that's actually pretty cool i like it i like that a lot all right thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace